Hi guys, this is a uh, little video on the history of terrain and my experiences with it. Uh, it's in res uh, video response to Arcalis's 200 subs contest. Congrat congratulations buddy on reaching that milestone. Uh, over 30 years ago, a uh, fella asked me to come and try out a game of D&D &D at his house and we've been best of friends ever since and I've been poor ever since. And this was probably the first piece of terrain I encountered on that evening. It was a hill. And it was a hill made up of a piece of cloth thrown over a book. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty um, modest beginning to someone that has a love for terrain like I do. Uh, I really do enjoy well-made terrain and especially what I see in the videos and dioramas uh, in the community today and I appreciate this opportunity to talk a little bit about terrain. Uh, the next piece I'm going to share with you is, um, oh I guess it would be the next step up. Uh, I think it was actually in the next week's adventure where we had a little bit more sophisticated piece of terrain. We added a book and put the stuff over the top of it and made it a two-level hill terrain. Not too impressive. Now in a very modest step up from that, there's the pink foam. The main reason I even put this together was to try out the uh, goop mix of the canlupium on the uh, styrofoam which was used to create this. Uh, it was actually a uh, a project for a uh, golf tournament at our church. We brought all of this pink foam and carved out mounds uh, and put greenery on it and uh, a tee and a plastic golf ball to make centerpieces for the banquet. And uh, since we had donated the pink stuff, I asked uh, for it at the end of things when everything was being tossed out and brought it home and started carving on it to uh, make myself a hill. So this was my first attempt at carving out a hill and dry brushing and putting some color into it to place minis on in our role playing. Now I guess this would be the next step up, which would be fairly inexpensive mass produced uh, purchase terrain that you can find in the stores. Uh, this one is kind of made out of a, a plastic and it's um, as you can see, a hollow, some kind of vacuum form type of thing, a little bit of flock put on it, a little bit of runes in the stones. It was fairly inexpensive and can be used in a lot of different settings. Finally, there is very high end terrain. I have always enjoyed or liked desert themed terrain, Egyptian style terrain. And this is a whole table full of just incredible cast painted dry bus terrain that would work equally in role playing games or tabletop war games. You've got difficult terrain that figures could pass through. You've got impassable terrain that figures would have to go around. And it's all just really amazingly well painted and creates a fantastic environment to game in. This was all done by Terrainaholic. So there you go buddy. There's some different stages of terrain. For your competition, your generous competition. I hope the rest of you will check out the link below for his video that he put up about this competition that you too will make an entry. Check out his channel. Subscribe if you see what you like and I think you will. May God bless you all, each and every one, and I'll be talking to you later.